Yo, y'all already know it's cool, Kamar Cootie. Can we back with another video? Look, yo, I know I kind of slowed down on my drop in a little bit, but all that, we back. Y'all already know we back. Before we get into it, y'all, I'm at 225, 226 subscribers right now. I'm telling you, we're gonna be on a generational run. The videos are coming out. I might do like a little vlogmas thing. Maybe not, maybe not everyday vlogs, but I might do a few vlogs. But I'm trying to do like, you know, I go 31 for 31 this December. So we lock it in for December. So yeah, I'm at, I'm at like two, two. I'm at like 225. I'm trying to touch 500. If these videos are fun, if these videos are a good time, like, comment, subscribe, please. Today, 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 we got a channel that I watch a lot. It's man like Zevi. So Zevi posted why EDP isn't in jail, which I think is a really something I'm actually being curious about for a while. We we know he did it. Like it's undeniable. Let's get straight into the video. Longest time I had no idea who EDP was. The most I knew was what people were saying that he did or what he was. Now, if you don't know what he cupcake? did, YouTube technically won't allow me to tell you. You want a cupcake? So we're gonna use a term I saw others using, chasing cupcakes. If you don't know what that might mean, then look in the comments and they'll explain. Now, EDP had a problem. He okay. just kept getting caught chasing cupcakes by YouTubers. Now, that got me thinking, why isn't he in jail? Well, we're nice. gonna answer that question today. First of all, come to find out EDP was an upcoming YouTuber. People loved yeah. him for his brash style, his super honest shock value statements, like going to the laundromat, pulling out somebody's bra and burying his face in it. Now, people mm. weren't sure if he was serious was he? or not, but he entertained a subset of people. Now, I know what you're thinking, how? Well, you'd be surprised. A lot of people that do shock value type things can garner a core fan base, especially yes. back when he was right up it was pre like 20 edp had fans i know a lot of y'all won't admit it i don't i didn't watch edp too much i've definitely seen his videos come out. i wasn't like a huge edp fan but a lot of y'all a lot of y'all were edp like on, before you got caught were edp ride or dies y'all not gonna say y'all not gonna say it out here y'all not gonna say it in public because he had a, he had a fan base before this stuff was going down 20 and before 2020 edgy shock value humor was a lot more accepted than it is today so he's doing all these things and somebody comes out and says hey um he chases cupcakes suddenly a bunch of people start posting screenshots of him chasing sorry i haven't seen it kiss your daddy good night sleep yo i didn't even see this before yo this damn okay my fault, my fault. cupcakes so the internet was pissed and the internet does what they do They've ruined him. They basically make it so his socials from all over YouTube, Instagram, it did not matter, taken down. Now, his main source of income was his YouTube videos. So that was the biggest blow to him. But YouTube was probably excited to take it down. YouTube does not like things that make the platform look bad. That's why I have to say chasing cupcakes. He was gone. But that YouTube money must have been too good because EDP was not giving up. He waits until the dust settles and comes back on the platform. People are like, why are you back? He said, because I'm sorry. Everyone Bro, y'all remember when, when EDP was like trying to find jobs? Man, he was trying to find jobs, he was trying to find houses, and y'all was, y'all was on his, like, y'all were on him. You, you used to EDP at, um, what was it? Grocery store or something. And people just, like, they started calling up the management. They're like, yo, that meant, yo, you got a predator. Yeah, that was a time. And some, some people were calling up his landlord, getting him kicked out of his crib. Yo, y'all were, the internet's scary. The internet is a scary place. I was like, okay, well, he said, I'm sorry that Cupcakes messaged me. And then you guys call me the bad guy for responding. How does that make sense? Everyone's like, it makes perfect sense. He says, well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Now at this point, I'm gonna use my hands to show his fan base size. His fan base is probably right here. After his apology, it goes so about right here. People hated it. They were like, oh, he's just an unapologetic weirdo. Okay. Another YouTuber takes it a step further by setting him up. Chris Hansen style. For those of you that don't know, there used to be a show called The Catch Up. I don't know if I could say that word, where somebody will pose as a cupcake, talk to a cupcake chaser, and then invite them to the house. Mm. Chris Hansen will be waiting for them, talking about what's going on. The cupcake chaser the will word. be like, ah, 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 ah. Chris Hansen will be like, ah, 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 don't worry about it. Just go outside, you good. Does Chris Hansen still make videos? Cause that's, that, that, that was, that was a good time. That was a good content time. Back when, when, when Chris Hansen was on, on TV, that was, that was when content was content. Chris Hansen was hilarious, man. I'm gonna check after this Chris Chris Hansen still makes videos. That might be my 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 next few my next few reactions. Might be some Chris Hansen videos. You good? Cupcake chaser be like, 
go outside, the police would take him down. So like I said, a YouTuber decides to model after that show, except for the police part. Okay, listen closely. This YouTuber poses as a cupcake, invites EDP out, showing that EDP took a step forward. Like now it's not just he's talking to cupcakes, now he's actually willing to meet a cupcake. The YouTuber ambushes him and says, yo, so you're actually willing to meet cupcakes? EDP, just like the cupcake chases on Chris Hansen's show, goes, uh, 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 uh nothing to say but again there are no police here because this isn't an official investigation so the mm. youtuber who catches edp can't really do anything edp can literally just go home so edp just goes home and decides to make another apology video he says this time guys i'm really sorry people are like i don't know he yeah, said i'm yeah, sorry that this whole thing was an act this whole thing was an act that youtube video that they posted about me i was acting he asked me to come play that part he said here's the proof right here edp can you come be a cupcake chaser people said you photoshopped that, he said. And on top of that, people said, I didn't even see that. I didn't even know that. Those stuff that you were accused of doing, and this didn't look like an act. So what's going on? He said, y'all bringing up pretty good points. So he had to apologize for real, for real. Especially because YouTube took down this second account he made. Because YouTube isn't the police. They can take down whoever they want. They know people hate him. They hate his content. They're like, bye bye. Money nice. gone again. So he comes out on like this third party website saying, hey, I'm putting, they ban him. So he comes out on this third party, third party website they ban him. So he has to make his own website saying, and got cooked off like everything. Nobody wanted him. Nobody wanted his content, which I hear. I hear it. My case, okay, my thing is, I don't want to say my thing. Okay. It sounds like I was trying to defend it. That sounded like I was trying to defend him. And I wasn't going to say what I was trying to say was if I'm like a, maybe not YouTube, but like, like one of these third party websites who are like trying to compete with YouTube. And I know, even if he's a weirdo, even if he's weird and he's doing some craziness, but I know there's someone who's going to be getting me views, right? EDP comes on my site. And if I don't, if I don't take him down, I just let him post his video. People are going to come to my site to watch whatever he said. I feel like I'm leaving it up. Am I bugging? Am I bugging for that? I feel like that's such a good business move, right? Like imagine I'm, what's, what's like a YouTube competitor. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever those YouTube competitors are, if, if, if YouTube's banning somebody off their site, but I know this is so huge. This is huge controversy right now he's his name is in the media because edp was everywhere when this shit was happening right if i see that that guy drops on my site i'm not gonna lie i'm not i'm not even if he does some wildness i'm not taking that video down i'm holding it up i'm putting that front pages I'm like, yo everyone slide through y'all want to hear what he said come through i'm really really sorry sorry that people keep trying to catch me doing bad things yeah he spends more time in this apology video talking about people trying to catch him in the act and at this point his fan base goes from here to hear mm -hmm. yeah he still has fans at this point and as for the police Ooh. they still can't really do anything prosecutors want to win cases all he would have to do is go up and say i was acting that's it people could show all the messages of his cupcake chasing he said that that was all an act i was doing that for clout i was doing mm -hmm. that for clicks and since the police didn't do a legal investigation then they'd have to take his word for it and let him go so okay. they don't even try well here's where things start to get wicked since the police weren't doing anything people started taking matters into their own hands mm -hmm. he doesn't have a youtube career anymore People find out that he's yeah. working in places like CVS for security. He's working at McDonald's. People get him fired for each and every one of the jobs that he gets. They then take Easy. it a step further. YouTubers do another sting operation to catch up. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Now, let me say this, and this is no offense to EDP, but he doesn't seem like the sharpest tool in the shed. He seems almost childlike when he gets caught for these actions. So they say, hey, we got you again. What's going on? You came here to meet a cupcake. He says, I did all that to make y'all catch me. I knew y'all was, I knew, I figured it out. The YouTuber's like, no, you didn't, bro. These texts are incriminating. He said, yes, I did. They said, EDP, what you doing? He said, huh? The YouTubers then get a call from the cupcake that was actually messaging EDP. She said, um, EDP is messaging me right now while he's talking to y'all. Everybody said, EDP. He said, huh? They said, girl, what did he say? He was cussing her out. Basically saying, you lame for trying to get me caught. It was wild. But this time, the cupcake, the girl, she files a report. And the YouTubers say, hey, we have this video as any evidence that you might need, police. 
the police still said we can't do anything about it because what you gotta understand is it doesn't matter how much evidence you have the strength of the evidence is what matters mm -hmm. this is a youtube video he could say anything the police departments are not the ones that ask the cupcake to do this in fact edp can say or do whatever he wants on camera since it's not a police sting operation because he mm -hmm. just has to say i was acting for attention and interestingly enough police did ask youtubers to stop doing sting operations like this because well of really? course it is dangerous you never know what a cupcake chaser the lengths they might go to and also it kind of weakens a prosecutor's case a little bit he could just be like oh i thought y'all were youtubers trying to catch me again that being said that doesn't mean that will work but he has a little more could, ammo. that being said said little. it's kind of a hard topic it. though right because the youtubers aren't necessarily wrong for what they're doing because in a lot of people's eyes police you guys weren't going to do anything about it in the first place so we're trying to take matters into our own hands but to take things a step Further, listen closely. I'm sure police are like, we're not gonna spend all that money and manpower just to get one guy y'all want me to catch. But to take things a step further further, I personally think the police should apply because technically the police are the will of people, right? They're yes. getting tax dollars from people. If a huge yes. group of people wants this person behind bars for what they're doing, then the police maybe should put a little manpower into At that. least do the investigation, you know what I mean? At least do the investigation. He comes out with another video right after the incident that we just talked about with him saying oh i let you guys catch me on purpose haha ha. he comes out with another apology he said look everybody i'm sorry everyone's like oh we're not falling for that he said oh you're not falling for it all right let me just say it anyway i'm sorry that this channel might get deleted everyone's like boo in the video he's just upset saying that my new channel is about to be deleted oh yeah youtube let him make another channel he made a new channel he said Sorry, this channel might get deleted, blah, 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 blah. People were like, that's not what we want you to be sorry for. But at this point, people were pretty tired of him and kind of saw him as a joke. And I'm sure a lot of people realize he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's kind of like disciplining a child and the child doesn't know why you're disciplining them. So people were basically like, stay on that side of the internet. We'll wait till you. EDP is, how do you, like, how do you make the same mistake so many times though? That's my thing. Like, how do you just keep making the same mistake, getting caught doing the same thing just over and over and over? Like, do we not try and at least fix it? Do we not try and change it? You know, I feel like, I don't know. Like, do we not learn from our mistakes? You mess up enough to get arrested. But then he comes out with more videos. That's probably why you've seen a bunch of EDP content lately. He comes out with recent videos not really justifying what he did but basically saying like people should take accountability for chasing cupcake i'm on y'all side that stuff ain't cool i was in a dark place in my past he actually makes a half decent apology this time he says he was in a dark place he shouldn't be hanging around certain people i said half decent I didn't say decent. He said he apologized to his friends and family for his behavior, but people still weren't going for it. They're like, it just don't sound right. Kind of sounded like a YouTuber apology when they do something absolutely wild and then like play ukulele talking about, my bad, Yay! but you want a secret? That was a time I'm too, that was a time. That the reason EDP be doing all this, saying all these apologies and stuff like that, is to get his name out there again. Enough people have caught on to the fact that if you just let him stay on his side of the internet and ignore him, He's gonna be irrelevant. Have I haven't seen any of the new videos. Fans. Oh, by the way, his fan base went to about right there. Yeah, he still has fans. Then that'll be that. He'll eventually. EDP still got fans. Y'all still be like EDP fans. Like, hey, yo, real talk, real question, real question. For the EDP fans, if any EDP fan is watching this video, I want, I want, I want to know. If someone came to me and was like, "Yo, who's your favorite YouTubers?" Would you in public say EDP four for five? Yeah. Would you in public say EDP? Because I think it's madness that EDP still has fans after everything. After everything, he's people still like, you know what? I fuck with you. You know what I mean? Like even like I feel like even having one person still being your fan. Like not someone who watches you just because they're like, oh, this drama is hilarious. Let me go sky feeling. Fans. People genuinely feel like, yo, EDP, that's my like I I will ride or die for EDP. Y'all are weirdos. Y'all are weirdos. Actually disappear into the universe. But him coming out and talking about the incident will spawn YouTube videos saying EDP is back. Every YouTuber and their mom will talk about this. EDP becomes relevant again. So now I know what you're thinking. Well, Seb, you're making a video That's about what you're EDP. Doing. Aren't you part yeah. of the problem? Well, I disagree with that line of logic. I think in today's social media climate, People are too smart. Just because every YouTuber talks about you doesn't mean you're gonna get a boost in views. Everyone's just gonna be like, oh, I remember that guy, he sucks. 
maybe one or two people will watch his video to see the apology but after that no one's gonna watch his videos it kind of reminds me of how back in the day remember how a massive youtuber can give someone a shout out and that person instantly becomes famous you can't do that anymore i feel like nowadays people have evolved to a point where they're too smart that's super cap a lot of that happens all the time that happens all the time now the girl the girl the girl who's in that the mr beast video the 100 days in a shelter or whatever it was however many days it was because she was in that video she got like a hundred some thousand subscribers i think it's super cap that's being like yeah yes the huge youtubers shout out people all the time and, and they're famous what are you talking about and too guarded with their attention edp apologized people be like oh okay cool like we've seen this show before what else is on yeah nothing new i don't i, don't, I personally don't didn't see anything new from that if you knew edp is a dickhead i i think the only craziness that i heard is that edp still got fans y'all still rock with edp yeah whoever watching this is you thought you used to rock with edp you're a weirdo <laughs> But yeah, you already know it's cool, Kamara. Cool to K. Um, plug EDP, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time.